my brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome back to another installment of our Youth Ministry Reflection Series, hosted by me, Ante Rogic, Youth Minister at St. Pius X. I hope each and every one of you are having a great week and are able to make the most of the Memorial Day weekend, given the circumstances and restrictions. In today's video, I will be discussing how we can make some more time for Christ. Time. What an anomaly time is. We know there are 24 hours in a day. A majority of the day is spent working. Then you come home, shower and change, cook dinner for the family, entertain the kids, and next thing you know, it's time to go to bed. Where did the day go? It always seems like there just isn't enough time to get the items on our list done. However, that is why we as a people have planners and schedules. So you lock in that time for that particular activity or event. During this whole COVID-19 pandemic, the ritual and practice of attending Mass on Sundays has been temporarily erased from our lives. I know for me personally, this is a major void. Yes, I, as many of you, have become accustomed to watching the Eucharistic celebration on the internet. Sure, this is a nice practice and fulfills the obligation of hearing the readings and the gospel, but the fact of the matter is, this practice really doesn't feel like my soul is being nourished as if I were receiving Jesus in person. I tend to get distracted as I am watching this broadcast because I am in the comfort of my own home and distractions are our plenty. It's as though I'm having an internal battle with my mind, perhaps losing touch and paying less attention to the Mass on the screen. You would think that with Masses only lasting 30 or so minutes, you can have plenty of time to worship Christ throughout the day. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. We as a people, and speaking on my own personal experience, take the time we should use for our Lord for granted. We tend to make Him a second thought in our lives. It's amazingly sad, but true, that Catholics today are more focused on what their faith can give them as opposed to what they can do for the faith. Working with the young people of our parish, I hear the same circumstances over and over and over again. Sometimes it comes from the youth, while most of the time it comes from the parents. Perfect examples are Sports conflict with Mass Practices interfere with sacramental prep Holy days of obligations that fall on weekdays conflict with study time for big tests and exams. What is it I am supposed to say? I can't judge, nor will I. Their relationship, as is mine, is between the person and God. When you try and contemplate why they should be attending such events, it's a tough circumstance because unlike practices, there are no visible and tangible improvements to our faith that can be showcased to others. Rather, the spiritual practice and strengthening we receive is only seen by God. Time is a variable we can never get back. I know that without the allotted time for God during the week, I would not be the man I am today. Time, talent, and treasure are key ingredients to really strengthening our relationship not only with God, but also with our parish community. Have you ever made a commitment on a Sunday, and when you realize that this commitment will prevent you from attending Mass, you went through with the commitment anyways? I know these situations are tricky, but that is why in many parishes, there is an abundance of mass times offered to fulfill any kind of scheduling conflict. Nobody, unless you're a parent of a young child, is going to force you to go to mass. Nobody is going to force you to say prayers and receive the sacraments. That feeling of obligation and making God our Father proud comes from the deep down inside each and every one of us. It is up to you to make the determination as to where your Catholic values stand in your life. Are you just going through the motions to fulfill an obligation? Or are you making the most of the opportunity? Pray to our Father. Pray to Jesus. Pray to Mary and pray to the saints. They can give you the strength and guidance you may need to fully embrace the faith and may you come to the realization that all other things in my life and your life are meaningless because without God, 
There is nothing. From all of us here at St. Pius X, I want to wish you a blessed and safe remainder of your week. May the good graces of our Lord Jesus Christ fall upon each of you today and always, and may you always have trust in Him. Remember, our time here on earth is temporary, but our time in heaven, should we get there, is everlasting. Play the part now to be able to share in the fruits of paradise. God bless you all, and please remember to follow us on all our social media websites.